What is going on YouTube? It's a boy roll back with another video. Tuesday, October 6th, and it is currently 5.30, getting ready for the gym. I meant to vlog yesterday and didn't have time, so what really happened there was I was gonna vlog right after work, but I started working Grubhub and I got extremely busy from five to seven. Didn't have my camera whenever we went to the gym, so just didn't vlog yesterday, but told you guys that I was going to keep you guys updated as to what was going on with peak week. Two days in a row, my coach actually dropped my carbs down to 75 grams just to kind of lower my weight a little bit more before we start ballooning up as the term that he uses. And so my calories actually ended up dropping from like 1600 to 1500, um, so a little over 1500, but my, my current macro split is 170 grams of protein, 75 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat. That was two days, this is day two. Um, extremely tired, it's been, it's been rough. Hunger levels have been extremely high and just these past two days have been terrible but fortunately today is the last day that i have low carbs tomorrow i start increasing my carb intake lowering my cardio which is hallelujah um because today yesterday i still had 45 minutes of cardio tomorrow goes down to 30 so i'm really excited about that my carb intake is actually going to start increasing while my protein intake is going to start decreasing going to try and fill up these muscles that are completely depleted right now but like i said gonna go to the gym gonna have a rice cake and then get my creatine and my bcaa's ready um my pre-workout is finishing up this monster that i was drinking this morning just because i currently don't have a pre-workout with me gonna do this real quick fill up our water gallons or water bottles and go to the gym today is a pool day with 45 minutes of cardio take you guys for the ride it's very similar similar pool day to what i did on saturday which i'm gonna get that video uploaded probably tonight or tomorrow and then i'm gonna vlog for the rest of the week i'm really excited tomorrow's my last day of work hoping i can leave early so i can vlog a little bit earlier and then next next three days they're gonna go by so fast and i'm really just looking forward to saturday honestly that's the one thing that i'm looking forward to getting to meet a lot of people getting to meet my coach in person so really excited i'm i'm happy that you guys have been a part of this journey with me and despite me not being able to produce as much content as i would have liked but you guys are still with me i'm gonna take you guys for the ride and let's get this going in the morning thursday october 8th and i'm exhausted anyways so busy 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 day ahead it's two days out from the show so there's a lot of things that i'm having to take care of was gonna vlog yesterday i thought they were gonna let me leave early from work they didn't so didn't vlog but today very busy day have a lot of stuff to get taken care of right now um I already had breakfast just because I was really hungry whenever I woke up. Just a little bit of an update. Currently sitting in at 149.6, new low. Um, even though my carbs are going up, my cardio is going down. Because my body's been depleted for so long, all of those carbs are being absorbed very quickly from my muscles. But I'm still dropping weight. I had to drink two gallons of water. Did about a gallon and three quarters yesterday and doing two gallons today. I'm aiming for two gallons today. But anyways... About to go to Walmart, get my oil changed to make sure that everything is good for the trip. And then after that, getting a haircut, 
gonna try and look fresh for the show and also wash my car because it's a little dirty right now but I'm gonna head out so see you guys there I'm already home and that's just because I was still under the impression that the auto center at Walmart was opening up at 7. Turns out that they don't open up until 8 now. So I got up there, everything was dark, and I'm like, what's going on? So then I check Google, and it says that they open up at 8. So that was disappointing. I could have slept in a little bit. Um, I'm going to chill here, work on my other YouTube video because I still haven't finished it. Yeah, that one's showing me a week out. I'm going to try and get that actually posted today. I, For the most part, I have it edited. I just have to actually like do a little bit of color correction and add the music that I want to put. But yeah, I'm going to be chilling here for a little bit and then I'll actually go take care, take care of everything that I need to take care of. So Okay, so trying this one more time. Going to head out to Walmart again. I was sitting here editing a video and my coach texted me asking me if I had any updated weigh-ins and pictures so i had to do that real quick which that was kind of stressful because it was very last minute i didn't know i had to do that every day but anyways gonna go to walmart get this oil changed get my hair cut done and then go wash my car because i need to wash it it's a little dirty i got my oil changed took a little bit but now i'm in front of great clips there's this one lady that i always come see I'm gonna get my hair cut. Uh, my coach actually updated my cardio, so instead of just 20 minutes, I'm actually doing 30 minutes and then posing. I'm most likely gonna do an extra 20 minutes of just walking, and that's simply because I need to get my steps in. I normally go to work and get my steps in, going up the stairs and everything, but because I'm not doing that today at all, I need to find a way to get some makeup for the steps that I'm not getting in, so I'm probably still gonna do like another 20 minute walk. Julie's gonna be working out anyways, and then after that, I'm gonna do some posing practice, give you guys a physique update. Haircut done. I am on my way to go wash my car. I feel like I've been very productive in the past two and a half hours. It's been a lot to get taken care of, but all necessities, all things that have to be taken care of just simply because I want to make sure that tomorrow is the least stressful day as possible. Obviously, we're going to be driving down tomorrow to Stafford, and I want to make sure that everything is packed today, everything is taken care of today, nothing left except the drive get a workout in, meet amazing people out there. So everything has to be taken care of today. And yeah, I'm gonna try and actually finish this YouTube video. Pretty sure after I'm done posing, that'll probably be, probably be it for this specific YouTube video. And then tomorrow, whenever we head out, that'll be a whole new video. That'll be show day video. Man, looking forward to it. And then this upcoming, Monday I have exciting news for you guys well actually if anything I already told you guys that I quit my job um, but just other exciting news so yeah let's go wash my car just finished cleaning my car really tired but I'm on my way home going to start drinking some water because I'm really behind I'm supposed to be drinking two gallons and I haven't had any water so far but got everything that i needed to take care of taken care of i feel good about that i've been really productive this entire time so i'm gonna go ahead and drive home drink some water finish editing the youtube video that i was working on and then wait for julie to get off of work okay so julie's home gonna go to the store and buy all of the things that i need for the show and just stuff that my coach told me that I need to take up there. I'm actually having to go buy food um, for show day, so that's kind of exciting. And then after that, we're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna get my cardio in, she's gonna get her workout in, and then I have my posing practice, so I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna come home, pack, get some rest. We're heading out by 8.30 tomorrow morning, and your boy needs some sleep. I feel really tired. I just had an energy drink, and I feel even more exhausted, so that's truly unfortunate, but we're gonna go to the store, and I'm gonna bring you guys with me, that way so you guys see what I have to eat. All right guys, so I'm here. We're here at Walmart. I'm getting razor, obviously, for body shaving, manscaping, whatever it's called, but anyways, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna try this one out. Um, they say it's pretty good, so time to try it out. Julie's looking at some hair stuff. 
Um, I'm gonna go find her. Then after that, I'm gonna go get the food that I need. I don't know where she's at, but anyways, let's go. All right, so we're in the food section. Um, I'm having to get two packets of Reese's cups. Those are at the front. And then I'm having to get two things of rice cakes, which I was just gonna get the chocolate ones. Getting two packets of rice cakes. Rice cakes, lightly salted, flavored, or plain. Anyways, getting two things of rice cakes, two cups of Reese's cups, forgot what else. So now I'm also getting Rice Krispie Treats, which are freaking bomb. I am extremely excited about that. So I'm actually getting these because they're a little bit smaller. I don't know how many uh, Rice Krispies I'm actually gonna be eating, but I'm just excited about them. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really excited about the food that I'm going to be eating, and this is all going to be before the show. And I also get to enjoy Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Or not for breakfast, but Chick-fil-A before, right before the show. So I'm really excited about all of that, guys. She's jealous I get to have Chick-fil-A. Out of the store, I ended up spending like $80 on stuff that I needed for the show. Which is kind of quite a bit. But got everything that I needed. Um... Now, I'm gonna go home, eat some lunch, because I am so hungry. And Julie forgot her sauce for her lunch. That was one of the main reasons why we decided to come to the store before eating lunch. Julie ran inside to go get her sauce. I'm feeling really irritated right now. But anyway, so ended up spending $80 at the store and it's just making it a lot more real, which is amazing. It, it's crazy to think that in two days I'll be stepping on stage for the first time. And I'm really excited because I know that I've come a long way. Not as much as I was hoping, but I've still come a long way. And it just, it helps me put into perspective everything that I need to work on in the off season. And my goal is to compete next year. Obviously, it can change just depending on how my bulk goes. If my bulk goes as well as I hope, then that means that I will be competing next year. If it doesn't go as well as I would like, then I'm not going to compete. I'll probably just bulk for another year, add some more muscle to this frame, and then compete again. So, looking forward to that. My goal next year, or you know, at the end of bulk, is to be at 180 pounds. Um, Last year I was trying to get to 180 pounds, but that was with a lot of fat. Actually, to be more realistic, I may actually just aim for 170. Um, because I'm going to try and do it as lean as possible. And yes, I was up to almost 180 pounds, but it was so much fat that was on there. And now I'm actually going to take just four months to... I'm pretty sure after the show I'm gonna end up gaining some weight maybe jumping back up to like 160 but if I stay around 160 my goal is to only gain 10 pounds of muscle in four to five months so I just haven't decided when I'm actually going to end bulking again it all determines on how my physique starts to look towards the end of the bulk and if I like what I see then it'll determine when I actually start prepping for my next show but Julie's in there I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of chill here scroll through Instagram and then go back home. All right, so I finished my second to last cardio session. Had a 30 minute um, session on the elliptical. And then after that, I ended up doing 20 minutes just walking on the treadmill because I, like I said, I didn't go to work today. So I wasn't getting the normal steps that I would have gotten. So went ahead and did that. I'm about to do some posing. Just waiting for Julie to get back from the restroom. I actually feel better after I had the food. Um, I ended up eating oatmeal and then I ended up eating my lunch which was three-fourths cups of asparagus, five ounces of chicken, uh, 0 0.3 grams of cheese, blended cheese, and then I had four ounces of egg whites. So feeling a lot better. Feeling fuller actually. And I'm pretty sure it's just because of the extra carbs. I've literally jumped from 125 grams to 200. And then tomorrow I'm jumping up to 300. So we'll see how that goes. But as of right now, the legs are starting to fill out again. I'm ready to not be so white. Like literally popping everywhere. But I'm ready to not be so white. Just wait, like I said, I'm just waiting on Julie. So I can get...
finished cardio session, finished posing. I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyways, battery's dying, so I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. It's like two to three days worth of vlogging all in one video. Um, but tomorrow, new day, heading to Alpha Elite. Really excited. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.